Okay, so um, what we want to do uh, is show you how to access, uh, view and download the Exxon and Intron sequences with Ensemble. So in our example we're going to have uh, a gene of interest, uh, which in this case is the ESPN gene. And we're going to look uh, at a particular transcript of that gene and try and find uh, and download the exon and intron sequences. So what we're going to do uh, is firstly navigate to the Ensemble homepage. So that's www.ensemble.org. Uh, you might be familiar with this page already, uh, but if you're not, uh, you can search for a gene of interest using this blue search bar at the top of the page here. So if you click on uh, the search bar and type ESPN, and then click go. Uh, this will take you to uh, a, a search results page uh, that displays uh, all of the features within Ensemble uh, that match with the ESPN search term. So at the very top here you can see we have ESPN uh, which is the human gene. So this is the link uh, that we want to click on. We're going to try and find uh, information about the ESPN uh, gene in human. So if you click on this link it will take you to the ESPN uh, gene tab. So even from this um, page, we can begin to find some information uh, about the exon and intron sequences uh, for the ESPN gene. And we can do this with the menu on the left-hand side. So if you click on Sequence, you can see here in the menu, when the page loads, what you're going to see uh, is an annotated FASTA sequence uh, that uh, contains the ESPN gene. So what you can see here, uh, as the header for our FASTA file, we have uh, a region on human chromosome number one uh, on the GRCH38 human genome assembly, which is the most up-to-date version of the human genome assembly. Uh, and we're looking at the genomic sequence uh, with these coordinates. So this is the start coordinate, this is the end coordinate, uh, and we're looking at sequence associated with the forward strand. So this is denoted by the one here at the end. So as we scroll down, you're going to begin to be able to see that some of the sequence is annotated. Uh, so we can use the legend uh, at the top of the page to see what this means. So all of the exons in this sequence are highlighted with a peach color. So you can see both of these sequence here of the both of these regions of the sequence here have a peach highlighting. So these are both exons of genes. However, only the exons of the ESPN genes have this red lettering. So as you can see here, this is the exon, uh, this is one of the five prime exons of the ESPN gene. Uh, and as we scroll down, this is intronic sequence, uh, and this is an exon of, uh, another exon of the ESPN gene. So what this means, for example, uh, when we look here, is that we're actually viewing uh, even exons of neighboring genes as well. So obviously we know that genes can overlap and sometimes fall approximately very closely with each other. So this is an exon of a neighboring gene. What you're um, going to be able to see uh, as well uh, is that you can um, configure this page uh, and view different types of sequences and annotations. So if you click on configure this page, you'll be able to see a number of different ways that you can configure the sequence view. So you can um, choose to extend the upstream and downstream flanking sequence. You can choose, for example, uh, to view variants. Uh, you can also choose to add line numbering to your uh, sequence as well. So obviously what this is, is it's uh, just the genomic sequence uh, and all of the exons uh, of all of the ESPN transcripts have been annotated on this sequence. But if you're interested in a specific transcript of the ESPN gene, uh, you might just want to view the exon and intron sequences of that specific transcript. So that's what we're going to do now. So if you click on show transcript table uh, in the gene tab here, so at the very top, this top row here, you can see that we have a single transcript of the ESPN gene, it's named 201. It has a particular uh, ensemble stable identifier, uh, and we're going to click on this now. So when you've uh, navigated uh, to the transcript tab, so clicking on this uh, stable identifier will bring you to the transcript tab. So this is a separate view in ensemble, and now we're viewing information that specifically relates uh, to, the tr to this transcript of the ESPN gene. So the first thing I'm going to do is click hide transcript table. So this is just going to simplify our view. Uh, and then in this summary page, what you're going to be presented with uh, is a graphical representation 
of the ESPN uh, 201 transcript structure. So what you can see here is that we have these boxes that are connected with lines uh, and what these denote are the different exons and introns. So what we have is the boxes representing exons uh, and when the boxes are filled in this represents a coding exon and when the boxes are empty this represents a non-coding exon. So this is going to be for example uh, a 5 prime UTR or a 3 prime UTR sequence. The lines that connect the boxes are the introns. So for example this is one intron that connects two adjacent exons. One intron that connects two adjacent exons. So if we want to view and download uh, the sequence uh, of these exons and introns we can use again the menu on the left hand side. So under the subheading sequence you can see this link for exons. So on this page you're going to be able to begin to see all of the different sequences for the exons uh, and the introns. So what you can see uh, by default is that we have some sequences of the different exons. So in this table are each of the exons and the introns and then obviously the next exon and intron and exon and intron of this ESPN 201 transcript. So what we can also see is that these sequences uh, are color coordinated. So what the, the first color indicates, uh, this green, is a five prime upstream sequence. So all of the green sequences are flanking sequences, which you can see with the menu, the legend at the top. And then we can begin to look at the exon sequence. So you can see uh, in this exon, for example, we have some red sequence, which is denoting that this sequence is UTR. So this is a five prime UTR section of this first exon. Uh, and then we have blue sequence, uh, and this is the translated sequence. So you can see here, this ATG uh, is the start codon uh, of the first exon. So this encodes the methionine, uh, and then this is the rest of the coding sequence of this first exon. What you can see, uh, perhaps uh, by default, uh, is a very small amount of this intronic sequence. So what I've already done is I've added the intron sequence uh, to my view. So you can change the sequences that you're viewing here by using again the configure this page option. So if you click on configure this page you're going to be able to see lots of other options that allow you to um, format the data uh, and view the sequences with different uh, annotations as well. So what you can see here that I have selected is show full intronic sequence. So I have this selected. You may have had this not on by default. So you can select this and then save and close the window and you'll be presented uh, with the full intronic sequence. So if you want to um, use this sequence, uh, you can either, you can do one of two things. So firstly, you can blast the sequence. So if you find a, se a region of the sequence that you're interested in, you can highlight it using your mouse. Uh, and then when you let go, you'll be given this option to blast the selected sequence. So if you click here, it will jump you straight into our blast tool and you can use that in your sequence searching uh, analyses. If however you should want to download the sequence, you can click on download sequence, this blue button at the top, and you'll be presented with two options for downloading your sequence in two different formats. So you can see here, these are the formats that we have available for downloading sequence. The first is FASTA, so this is just a plain text format file um, that allows you to download the sequence uh, without any annotation. Or we also have this RTF, the rich text format, which allows you to download the sequence uh, with all of the extra annotation and letter coloring as well. So if you choose this format, uh, you'll be able to view all of the uh, annotation that you would have added with the configure this page option, for example. So you can click on your format of choice, select the different types of sequences that you want to see, uh, and define how much upstream and downstream sequence you want to view and then you can just click download uh, and it will be downloaded onto your computer. Okay so that brings me um, to the end of the demonstration. Uh, we've had some technical difficulties so hopefully you've been able um, to watch us either live uh, or a recorded version. 
If you do have any questions about uh, using Ensemble or downloading the sequences in particular, you can always contact us via Facebook or Twitter or even via our help desk. So we have an email address, uh, helpdesk at ensemble.org, where you can ask us any questions uh, and we'll get back to you. So until the next Facebook Live, thank you very much for joining us uh, and see you soon.